equals negative 3x minus 3y. Let's add these up. This is 20, this is 0, and this is 2y, positive 2y. 20 equals 2y, y equals 10. What's 10 represent, or what's y represent? Large cards. So 10 large cards. So now let's figure out how many small cards by doing a simple substitution. Let's use this one. 25 equals x plus y. We just found out that y equals 10, so let's dump them back into here. 25 equals x plus 10. 10 plus what is 25? 15 small cards. So there you have it. There's a solution to your system. All right, let's move on to number 14. So number 14 is a substitution problem. So it's going to be a little bit simpler laid out. There are no total amounts. Um, well, there could be one total amount in a substitution problem. But usually in a substitution problem, one variable is defined in terms of the other variable. So let's see what that looks like. A hotel rents a double occupancy room for $20 more. Okay, look at this. So we already kind of see what's going on here. $20 more than a single occupancy room. Okay. One night, the hotel took in uh, about $3,000 after renting 15 double occupancy rooms and 26 occupancy rooms, 26 single occupancy rooms. What is the cost for single and double occupancy rooms? Okay, those are our variables. Let x equal single, oh, sorry, number of single rooms. Let y equal number of double rooms. All right, single rooms, double rooms. So now let's set up our system. A hotel rents a double occupancy room, so that's a y. For, okay, for $20 more than, more than a single occupancy room, which is X. So there's our first system right here. Oh, here look at that lovely box. I'll rewrite it down here. Y equals 20 plus X. One night, a hotel took in $3,115 after renting 15 double occupancy rooms, so 15 double occupancy rooms, so 15y, and 26 single occupancy rooms, which is x. So there's our second system, and this is a substitution. So what we'll do is I see that there's a y down here, but we have y isolated up here, so I'm going to take that and sub it right in for y right there. So let's rewrite this equation. 3,000 $115 is equal to 15 times 20 plus x plus 26x. So that is, whoa, 15 times 20 is 300. We're just distributing. 300 plus 15x plus 26x. <laughs> And that equals 300 plus 40, ah, oh, geez, I am so bad at mental math. Some of y'all are way better at mental math than I am. 41x, is that right? 36, yeah, that's right. Okay, so we're down to this part. 300, 3,115 equals 300 plus 41x. Okay, let's... Just use, uh, oh, that's nice. I don't have a calculator around here. Da, da, da. All right, so. What? Oh, yeah, when I formatted Windows, it deleted my calculator. That's nice. Well, guess what that means? I'll leave it for you to solve. Here's our system. 3,115, no, I'm not gonna do that. Equals, what was it? 300 
plus 41 X and this one was let's see here this other one was Y equals 20 plus X so subtract 300 2815 so 2815 divided by 41 is divided by 41 let's see here is 5 5 will work on that one 5 20 no we can do 6 so that's 6 times 24 all right, so we'll subtract here. That's seven one five thirty five five. All right, this is a waste of time. From here, you can figure out what x is. Here's this is your single step. This is your double step equation. I'm just too lazy to go find a calculator, and I don't want to waste your guys' time. So this is so this is the system that you need to have set up. Um, this is the f. This is the post substitution. Let's see. The system is 315 equals 15 y plus 26 x, and you saw what the variables were earlier. So anyway, you can solve for x. Dump that x right back into here, and then then you'll get your y. Okay, I'm a little constrained on time, and I want to get these uploaded. It's friggin' Tuesday. So anyway, I. Uh, Hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, please come and see me. I'll be in my room in the mornings, uh, probably taking care of business. You won't get any you won't, uh, dedicated tutoring won't occur uh, this morning in the mornings here. But come and find me, and uh, and we can go over this review. All right.